see this being useful for example for search and rescue in let's say a, a collapsed building in the case of a disaster or uh, getting out into nature and studying let's say endangered species in a way that doesn't disturb them. You can actually have soft components as part of your system printed together with rigid components and digital combinations of the two. So you can actually do uh, sort of gradual transitions from a soft part of the robot to a rigid part. In the future, we hope to be able to also 3D print the brain and 3D printing the sensors, etc., and have everything uh, sort of be connected right out of the out of the machine, so to speak.